Shalom. I want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the Spirit, and peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel. This is the brother Abadi from the GMS Houston camp, and I'm back with another lesson. I have a few scriptures to read, uh, three to be more specific. Uh, yeah, three verses to read out of Wisdom of Solomon, the eighth chapter, and I'm gonna start at the um, the fifth verse. Okay, let's get into it. It says, "If riches be a possession to be desired in this life, now let's deal with us, the Israelites, who are the so-called Negroes." Latinos and Native Americans. All right. You have, you know, the the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. And then you have the two thirds. Okay. Now the two thirds, their mindset is to their desiring riches on this planet earth actual uh in this in this life the life that we live in right now they want uh some money which is not even real money it's federal reserve notes real money is gold silver land cattle okay but they want federal reserve notes they want the the house the cars okay the lifestyle right Let's read on. It says, well, let's read from the top of Wisdom of Solomon 8, verse 5. It says, if riches be a possession to, to be desired in this life, what is richer than wisdom? And this is what the elect, okay? The elect of Israel will desire the true riches, okay? And we know when the kingdom come and is set up on this planet earth, we will get the riches of this world and live the, a, a, the, the lifestyle and righteousness, you know? The life, the, the, the uh, lavish and luxury, uh, luxurious lifestyle, we'll live that in righteousness in the kingdom, okay? But in this life that we that we're living, okay, we desire wisdom. What comes with the wisdom tells us in um, Proverbs four and seven, wisdom for wisdom is the principal thing. With all thy getting, get understanding, or as I believe it says, get wisdom. And with all that getting, get understanding. So I'm, I'm roughly paraphrasing the scripture. All right. So we're to get wisdom and the understanding is the, is the um, what comes next. Okay. It says that worketh all things. What does it mean? Wisdom. Okay. Worketh all things, meaning wisdom will teach you all things. Okay, just like um, when we put in work, right? We put in work is to teach this word, and that's a uh, so work that we're doing, right? To to teach, and this wisdom is not. I'm gonna say this real quick before I continue. This wisdom is not just floating around, right? And doing this teaching. Okay, the wisdom is going to be in the minds of the elect. Okay, and then you have the uh, the prophets, the 144,000 that are going to be the teachers of this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Okay? So that wisdom is going to be possessed by the, um, the men that the Most High set up, according to Jeremiah 3 and 15, where it says the Most High will... Give us pastors according to his heart, which shall feed us with knowledge and understanding. That's that wisdom right here. 
And where do we find this wisdom at? In the scriptures. Okay. It's understanding. In the, and we, uh, the, the, the prophets, all right, starting with our apostles and elders on down, we, uh, we bring out the understanding of the wisdom. Let's read on. It says, and if prudence work, a work is going in the, uh, well, prudence is talking about a foresee to be able to uh, know what's going to happen before it happens. And the scriptures tell us on the, on the grand scheme of things what's going to happen before it happens. When you go into the word prudence, it uh, goes back to the word providence, which means to um, pro meaning ahead and um, a dense or dense goes into uh to see all right if you all right if you go look up the word so it says and if prudence work meaning if this um knowledge this wisdom it'll teach you um the prophecies okay because we know what's going to happen before it happened because of the prophecies prophecies that are written in the scriptures all right it says and who is going to teach the prophecies like like i mentioned just a little earlier the 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 prophets the prophets are going to bring out the prophecies of the scriptures so that we know what's going to happen before the things uh before the things that are written in the scriptures come to, come in come into play right Meaning we, we can't tell the future. Yeah, well, we can tell the future, we, but it's based upon the scriptures, based upon the prophecies of the scriptures. All right. It says, who of all that are is a more cunning workman than she? Meaning a, a teacher. Which the, the, the men of the Lord are the ones that are going to be putting in that work, teaching the wisdom. It says... And if a man love righteousness of her labors, let me read that again. If a man love righteousness, her labors are virtues. I had to read that right. One more time. And if a man love righteousness, now who are the ones that love righteousness? Righteousness is what? The keeping of the law. The ones that love that are the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay. And if a man love the law, really you can say the law, statutes, and commandments of the most high. That's righteousness. It says the keeping of them is. It says, and if a man love righteousness, her labors are virtues. Meaning this wisdom will teach us virtues, which is high moral standard okay so look at yeah high moral standards I, I was gonna jump the gun i'm sorry let's read on it says for she teach it and it's and and who's doing the teaching of this wisdom the men of the lord the ones that are a part of the ministry of your how about shimmy i was shy it says for she teach it temperance temperance goes into self-discipline which goes into balance knowing how to live a a uh, balanced lifestyle according to the scriptures it says and prudence going back to that word prudence means it teaches us the prophecies how to see how to look ahead and see what's going to happen on this planet earth based upon what the prophecies are in, in the scriptures it says justice so this is what wisdom can do. That's why it's more valuable than than uh riches of this world. Because you have a lot of people that, you know, a lot of our people, the ones that have that believe they have some money, you know, they they have this this uh these riches, but then they lack all these things. So they find themselves in horrible conditions on on, on the planet. Okay, 
because they don't have the wisdom. Okay? They don't know what's going to happen to this present uh, life that we live. It's just not really living. We're out here dying. Okay? They don't have a high moral standard. They don't have a moral standard at all. Okay? They don't have uh, self-discipline and, and balance. According to the scriptures, not according to uh, uh, what the so-called white man got to say about it. All right? What society deems as a, as, as a balanced, um, disciplined life. Because you got punk, uh, the LGBT community running rampant and is endorsed and uh, enforced by by the government you know so what the hell can they teach it to teach us and tell us about self-discipline and balance in life not a goddamn thing and this is where this is why we ought to get this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Because ultimately, what, it will, what can that get you? It can get you salvation. All right? Worried about the riches of this world is going to get you destroyed. Or desiring the riches of this world is going to get you destroyed. So let's go back. It says, for she teaches temperance and prudence, justice and which justice is going into the to the law, meaning through the law we can get justice. If you keep the law, then you can get a reward from the Most High. If you break the law, then there's a penalty. Okay, and that penalty is is just. Okay, because that's the way the Most High set it up. And and fortitude. Well, fortitude is going into strength. Really, mental, mental make your mind strong. Okay. And you got a strong mind, then you are uh, uh, protected. Okay. You can be protected from the shit that's coming down the pike. All the plagues and the terrors of the Lord that's coming down the pike. Okay. It says, which are, which are such things as men can have nothing more profitable in their life. And that's true. There's no thing more profitable in this life. I don't give a damn if a nigga was to get his hands on a trillion, trillions of dollars somehow. Or a trillion or have a, a uh, asset worth of trillions of dollars. Okay. That's not more, nothing is more profitable in this life than the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures. Okay? Because ultimately, what is all this going to, what, all, what can all this bring? This temperance, prudence, justice, fortitude, if one possessed that, salvation. Lord willing, this video was edifying, and I'm going to end it right there. And until the next one. Hey, I say shallow one.